Hey everyone, we've just quickly got our Cisco Desk Pro set up on Microsoft Teams room um, for Android at the time. As you can see, it's exactly the same experience as it would be with a Logitech bar or a Poly bar or a Yealink bar, something like that. Um, however, there's some extra exciting things that are within the uh, ecosystem of when you register a Cisco device to Microsoft Teams. So uh, we'll take those through those quickly, but as you can see, um, not only have we got the nice hardware there with great cameras and speakers and everything, um, but um, if, as long as you get the licensing set up, and I've got great promos at the moment, so you can uh, get the Microsoft um, build, but in the back end, get Cisco Control Hub. That gives you brilliant monitoring, gives you brilliant control of all the devices on your ecosystem. Um, even things you know around environmental data in the workplace is really useful. Um, so. People were just quickly asking a few questions the other day around um, Interop and what that looks like. So first, let me join the Microsoft Teams meeting. As you can see, I've got a little background set up here. But if I swipe from the right, uh, let's take that off as well. So you can be well, you know, a bit more familiar with what you're seeing. There's the device. Uh, we've got all our normal buttons down the bottom here. Microsoft Teams for Android, so I can do a clap. I can do um, look at my add some participants, gallery view, and loads more things are coming at the end of the month there, like they are with all uh, Android Teams rooms. Again, because it's a Cisco device, I've still got you know all my camera controls, <clears throat> best view. I can have backgrounds. Um, the microphone, I've got noise removal, optimized my voice. This is some of the best noise reduction technology in the market, I think. Um, yeah, and then we've got you know. All, all, I can imagine over time as well, they're going to be adding more buttons in here as well. Uh, let's just quickly leave that meeting. And I'll load up a WebEx meeting. I've got one ready on my laptop as well. Let me hit that. And because it's registered to Control Hub, it's registered to Cisco, um, it's got the native WebEx experience as well. So I'm in Microsoft Teams room mode still. But look, I've got all my buttons here that I'm used to in a, in a call. So I've got, uh, got all my layouts, captions, reactions. I'll do a little hair there. Um, recognize gestures, see my participants, all the layouts, obviously we've got all that there, people focus. If I swipe, still got all the same settings that I did in Microsoft Teams mode as well. And you can see on my laptop here that, uh, you know, it's coming to the call and it's, the, it's perfect, you know, Cisco quality within the WebEx meeting. You leave that meeting as well. And as you'll, you'll see, there is also a Zoom one. Uh, that's currently not working in beta, uh, but that will just give us general WebRTC join, just like in all the Microsoft Teams rooms for Android settings. Um, very quickly as well, obviously more feature set is coming, um, including join by ID and all those sort of things. Um, but you won't be able to just flip flop this between uh, WebEx registration and Teams. Uh, you would need to sign it in and log it in every time. But um, uh, generally, when you buy this hardware, you do get support, you get your WebEx licensing, um, Control Hub, um, and so you get all that excellent back-end services as well with Cisco devices. Um, and the, the, you know, comparatively costing when you get utilize all the bundles, um, the, it's very competitive up against the, lots of its um, rivals in the space. So that's the Desk Pro running Microsoft Teams Room on beta at the moment. We're just on the very last days of March 2023. Um, and we'll keep you updated with some deeper dives on the ecosystem as, uh, as everything gets certified.